Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and with this video, I'll be discussing my thoughts on the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice SDCC 2015 trailer, which just dropped a little while ago as of the time of this recording, and it was just amazeballs. <laughs> I mean, eyegasms from beginning to end, my jaw effectively dropped, and it took hours just to roll it back up off the floor again, you know. And I'm somebody who did not very much care for the initial teaser we got. I didn't like the vibe of it, and, uh, you know, even though I was still very much penultimately excited for this film, this trailer put it over the top. Um, being able to see more glimpses of Henry Cavill's Superman, of course, being called into court effectively or, uh, you know, sort of a governmental procedure where they're questioning what is his purpose, um, very much as he is probably questioning. They're like, what are you about here? Are you going to try to rule us? Are you going to be a benevolent benefactor? That kind of thing. We do see this interspersed with cuts of uh, him saving people, saving a rocket, uh, presumably people in the tip of the rocket, you know, it was exploding and he saves their lives, um, saving people who are caught in a flood and, you know, stuck on their rooftops and everything. And so we do see the honorable and moralistic values of Superman. Superman as portrayed by Henry Cavill and this is also interspersed with what are callbacks I believe to Metropolis the destruction they're in um, to do with that fight between you know Superman and Zod effectively because you see sort of energy beams uh, crashing out of a building and you see Ben Affleck, uh, you know Bruce Wayne reacting to that running toward the danger uh, hoping to save lives he seems to be on the phone and I'm assuming with his scream that comes thereafter, he's reacting to the loss of someone personally connected to him. Uh, we see there are scenes where he's being mocked, I'm assuming probably by the Joker, who's sending him messages, who, uh, you know, puts graffiti on like a, sa a statue or a suit of his uh, laughing about <laughs> his, you know pursuit of justice in Gotham, whatever it is, and he even has dialogue to that effect. You know, I'm like the last person after 20 years, I'm the only one left standing um, who's been trying to level the playing field and bring justice to all of that darkness, that criminalistic side. And um, the dialogue from Alfred from the first teaser calling over, and we get a little more perspective on what he's talking about. Yes, he is talking to Bruce Wayne. Um, somebody had told me in you know uh, reaction to my thoughts on it that he was actually talking probably about Lex Luthor. But we see very pointedly he's talking to Bruce and the darkness Bruce is feeling. And uh, there's another penultimate line from Alfred in this trailer that just put it over the top and was the sole reason kind of why I disliked that first teaser um, because I felt like Superman wasn't getting a fair shake and all we were seeing was that they were going to be fighting he and Batman um, and that bout that was up and coming and everything like that. Uh, it seemed like the world was against Superman and you even have Alfred mic dropping in this particular trailer. <laughs> you know, he is not our enemy. He says pointedly to Bruce, he is not the enemy, you know, and so I was like, hell yes. I was cheering by that point. Of course, we also see uh, some clips of like Gal Gadot, um, both in her sort of street clothes, if you can call it that, these very uh, posh gowns and everything looks like she's partaking in some sort of gala event. Looks at one point like Bruce recognizes her and she's going to leave uh, in a fancy schmancy car, whatever it is. And um, but then you see her throwing down as the W dub. I mean, wow. Just freaking Wonder Woman in all her glory. Princess Diana, welcome home, is all I can say. If people are still griping and bitching about this trailer, about it showing too much or it not being appeasing or not having uh, high hopes about this particular film, shut the freak up. You know, <laughs> just shut up. Um, because damn damn all kinds of damn uh i like that you got shots of uh of course perry white and lois lane as well as actually uh mama kent you know all three of which are kind of talking to clark and or superman about his place in the world about you know it seems as though clark is kind of trying to get at the batman this vigilante and try to expose him maybe and perry white's like no <laughs> you know for all intents and purposes leave it alone uh you know and uh, just the idea that 
Mama Cat is feeling very much like, you know, the world is putting you on display. You're not asking for it, and you don't owe them anything. You're, you're going out there, and you're saving lives, and you're doing all this stuff. I think this is probably in build-up to his going in and facing, confronting whatever that governmental organization is that's calling him into question. She's probably saying, you know, you, you shouldn't have to do that. You shouldn't have to go in and put yourself, expose yourself in front of them and, uh, you know, sort of make yourself out to be either a hero or a villain because they ask you to. Um, you also get a hint of, I think it's Holly Hunter's character, a senator. She's the one overseeing it, and she is then seen in a couple uh, interspersed scenes with, of course, Lex Luthor donning hair that it, at least the uh, preliminary images from Entertainment Weekly that came out, that wig looked horrible. It looks much more palatable to me in this particular teaser um, as not necessarily being real hair, but just looking like <laughs> more normal. And uh, I'm assuming he's probably already bald under that, and we'll hopefully see that at some point in the film. Uh, seeing the corpse, air quotes, uh, perhaps, of Zod being opened, the black bag, the body bag being opened, gave me chills. Um, <laughs> you know, seeing all the action sequences of Batman from going out into the desert to confront, seemingly, this, uh, you know, sort of armed force who are wearing the Superman shield. We saw a couple clips of this in the first teaser. Still don't know exactly what's going on with that. If this is people sort of, you know, uh, aggrandizing Superman as a godlike figure, they will follow. They will, you know, be the, ar the army that he can uh, sort of propel to do his bidding. Don't know exactly what that's all about, but um, it does seem like Batman is getting into the game and trying to take these people down. Um just so much just so much seeing him swinging off the side of a building as an explosion erupts and uh superman firing of course the laser vision and everything like that the heat vision whatever you want to call it uh whatever this version of the film uh you know sort of aesthetic is to be referred to as you've got lex looking at what plainly stated looks like a giant chunk of kryptonite and everything and um very much bruce wayne because he has been had you know, pot shots taken at him because he suffered a personal loss. Much to answer our speculations, it seems like this is the fuel to the fire of setting his sights on Superman, a god that must be taken down a peg for fear of his unleashing havoc upon the world. And that is going to be where that fight comes into play. And it does seem like Wonder Woman gets involved. It does seem like, uh, from what we've heard of other characters that are going to be in this film, you know, Aquaman, Cyborg, other things like that, they might be trying to get in between or, you know, uh, trying to just tell them, hey, you know, go to your corners, cool off. Perspective time, you know. Uh, we're all on the same side here. And uh, you even see like a flashback to, uh, you know, Bruce Wayne's father being shot. And uh, I think... Maybe that was Joe Chill, I don't know. Um, but just so much awesomeness, so much freaking awesomeness in this trailer. Um, I was left speechless. I mean, uh, you know, I am usually the type of person who wants to get a video up as soon as I can after I've seen a trailer. And I just kind of had to sit back and let this one wash over me several times before I could even think about kind of talking about it. And... Um, reacting to it because this is something this is you know uh i'm 36 years of age as of the time of this recording and this is one of those things where it's 36 years in the making for me my first action figure was superman uh you know my second or third was batman spider-man was in there as well and so from childhood i've idolized to a point these characters i've looked up to these characters and been inspired by and you know have uh, aspired in my own life to sort of live up to their more, uh, you know, moralistic causes and, and trying to be there for others and their compassion and, you know, seeking of doing right. Uh, of course, not being a vigilante like Batman, but I've been, you know, th these are my two favorite all-time comic book characters. And uh, to be able to see them embodied in a way that just, at least from this trailer, I mean, you know, all bets will be off when the movie finally comes out, but just based on this trailer alone, it's like everything I've ever wanted, <laughs> you know, every single Christmas in those 36 years, everything I've ever wanted relating to Superman and Batman as far as live action, as far as a film, as far as an adventurous, you know, film going experience, something that will be life changing, life altering, potentially, it was all embodied with this trailer. 
and I just cannot wait for this movie to come out. <laughs> I can't even... I'm just so giddy. I'm just so ecstatic over it, and I'm probably going to go and uh, watch this trailer as many more times as I can between now and then <laughs> any other things that come out about it. Um, so yeah, that's my reaction and thoughts on this particular SDCC trailer for Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. You got everybody in there and um, loving it. Just loving it. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Uh, you know, just your thoughts on it, your reaction to it. Uh, love it, hate it, whatever. Anything goes in the comments. Love having the conversation with you guys. And yeah, that'll be pretty much it for me on this. Hope this video finds you well. And I'll catch y'all later. Peace.